Hey, what's up everybody? It's Dows with Gadget Hacks, and today I'm going to show you how to cheat on the Easter egg game in Android Lollipop or Marshmallow. Now just in case you're not aware of this one already, pretty much every version of Android has had an Easter egg hidden under the About Device menu. Generally, these have ranged from live wallpapers that depict the Android version to just simple little animations. But starting in Android Lollipop, it turned into a Flappy Bird clone minigame. And let me tell you, this game is about the hardest freaking game I've ever played. So me personally, when I discovered the new Easter egg, I played it for about 5 minutes and almost broke my phone in half. But now, thanks to a cool little tip from XDA developer Corefish, we can actually make this little game playable. To get this one going, of course you'll need to be running Android Lollipop or higher, but you'll also need to enable the Developer Options menu on your phone which means taking the trip to Settings, then About Device, then scrolling down and hitting the Build Number Entry seven times in rapid succession. Once you've done that, just back out to the main Settings menu and head into the Developer Options Entry that you just unlocked. From here, scroll down a bit until you find the three Animation Scale Entries, and then you really only need to concern yourself with the last one, which is Animator Duration Scale. So basically change this one from the default 1x to 10x, and then turn your screen off and right back on. From here back out, go down to the About Device menu and unlock the Easter egg. And for that one, just tap the Android version a few times until you see your wallpaper, and then tap the screen again a few more times, kind of hold it down. From here you'll see the Flappy Bird minigame clone, but now you'll notice that those lollipops that come in flying in are coming so much slower and it actually makes it easy or manageable to score a few points. So really it's just a cool little cheat that I thought I'd let you guys know about. But for more tips and tricks like this, be sure to check out my article over on GadgetHacks.com. As always, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time, folks. But until then, happy gadget hacking.